starting to get real now. Never ever been there in all my life to Sudwana. It's one of the hot spots of, of, of South Africa, uh, of the east coast of Africa. Um, unbelievable for bull fishing, uh, all your open water game fish. Uh, yeah, I cannot, cannot wait to get up there. So we're about two days out, we're gonna go to the tackle shop today and then we duck tomorrow afternoon. just spoke to Hink from uh, um, Sodwana. He's uh, one of the um, new charter operators there, but he's been fishing the area for a very, very long time. And uh, he's told us that uh, there's been some kuta, um, some tuna, a couple of sailies in the area. Okay, Kirk, let's, you actually don't know what you're doing. Get away. Let's have a look here. What have we got here? We've got some, some dusters. We've got uh, deep diver. We've got some pink. Tuna love the pink up there. If you ever fish Sodwana, you'll know pink is the thing. Pink is the in color. Start it off. What else we got here? A little softy here, for sure. Put that in a, a little bait in it, and let's hope we get a sale or two. It's like going shopping at spa. You can never have too much. One of the, the best things about this tackle shop is, as soon as you walk in here, you, you honestly feel welcomed and at home, and uh, the guys here are just such, such good oaks. So they're not just sitting behind the counter trying to sell you tackle, they're actually fishermen themselves. Isn't they? So you know when you're coming here, you're always getting sound advice. So um, for me, it's definitely just a really nice place to come and spend your time. So it's D-Day. Um, we are going to Sudwana today. I cannot wait. It's been a lifelong dream to go to this place. Yeah, the plan for the day is uh, we're hoping to leave for Sudwana sort of around one o'clock. And um, I've got to head through from here uh, to, to my office. Uh, get one or two things, throw a couple of poppers and stick baits um, and, uh, and get the rods and reels together and uh, pack as neatly as I can, which is not, uh, you know, I'm not too well known for. And then, um, yeah, and then we're hitting the road, eh? So welcome on the drive with me, Alistair. We're gonna set up our Sudwana 101 jet ski, kayak and boats fishing trip. So these are the colors that we would choose for Sudwana. Basically pink, lots of pink. I don't know what it is, but the pink works. You know, with the temperature being low, dropping to winter, Wahoo are definitely around and you want to have something that you can pull quick, fast, and basically anywhere between 20 and 30 kilometers an hour. Um, and then you can never go wrong with a riptide for tuna. This little lure, tuna, kuta, anything basically that sort of hovers on the surface, throws absolutely miles and as an absolutely deadly retrieve on it. Cool. Mick, you're an absolute legend. Cool, Thanks cool again, buddy. Huh. I get it. Hurricane. Oh, Brian Kane. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Ah. Ah. Yeah. It's the end of the time. Coming towards the end of the week. Ah. Yeah. Brain cells aren't firing in all cylinders. It's all right. Byron's been quite pedantic about us um, making sure the tire pressure's right. I think I know why now. Because kept it so long between when I was supposed to pick up the boat and when I actually picked up the tires and probably dropped a bit <laughs> The flea is on the dog, Daddy. The flea is on the dog. We're on the way to Sudwana finally. It's about a four hour drive from Durban up the north coast. But yeah, it's just good now to get finally get going. We've got everything together. Uh, now the rest is up to, to Sudwana Sodwan to see what it provides. Yeah, so Cam and I managed to escape uh, a little bit earlier today. Uh, it's Thursday. So we are the advance party together with Al who is uh, in Sudwana already. Um, and was already sipping on his first uh, beverage there, waiting for us to arrive. Kevin's coming in the mor morning, Byron and Brendan are coming after draft. 
and yeah, we'll see. We'll figure out. We're probably gonna go out tomorrow morning and just figure out and see what's what's eating and where they're feeding and whatnot. We're hoping Saturday and Sunday are gonna produce some good fish because they're really good weather days. So we're gonna be able to put some good time in over those two days and uh, and work out what's feeding where. So there have been a lot of good fish on the bite at the moment and hopefully that continues throughout the weekend. Just stoked to be up in Sodwana finally boys. We just got uh, embarrassingly enough stuck in the sand due to our um, cameraman's amazing navigations, navigational skills. Neither one of us listened to the voice note properly. <laughs> so it was Kirk's fault. Yeah. Um, but I, but I am, I'm the only one, I'm driving. So, you know, I drive and navigate at the same time. We're here in Sodwana at the moment. We've just arrived. It's uh, 8 o'clock at night. Long drive. But yeah, we're eventually here. We've just met El now. Uh, Reino, one of the locals um, from uh, Fasaki, I think it is, is, is uh, outside the gate here. He's gonna have one or two drinks with us, hopefully, and, and uh, let us in on a couple of, uh, some information before we head out tomorrow. He's gonna be taking us out and showing us around, so that's gonna be exciting. And um, yeah, we're gonna be at the gate in about two minutes, unpacking nice ice cold beer and settle in. Welcome. How does this well, thing tow? Is it heavy in the back? Cheese bird is heavy, eh? Yeah. Uh, I can check it in the front here. Yeah, bird is very heavy. It yeah. only took you six hours to get yes. here. Yeah, yeah, no, it was that actually no. Yeah, well, that's yeah. on the conservative side. It was, yeah. it was okay. No, I spoke to it like Cam, it's a longer walk, eh? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. And this is he's spoiling us there, bro. Cheers, bro. Cheers, boys. Welcome, man. Nice to meet you, yeah. Adam. Yeah. The weather's good all weekend. That's um, good, yeah. Surfs. Fine. It's big, but it's yeah. it's not bad. But out here, yeah, it'll be alright. Yeah, I think so. It looks like it. But we got to try and look for live baits. Live small okay? bonnies and things like that. I think oh, early in the morning. Okay. Bonnies. I reckon you put a body on the water, it gets shot. Really. Yeah. Good morning, hey, boys. Huh? You ready? Cheap as that smells good. Uh, of course. Look, you'll never starve on us because we won't starve on this boat. This tractor's on its way to pick us up. That's the beauty about Sidwana. You know, they really cater to look after you. Tractor will pick us up, take us down, launch us, push us in, wait for us to come back. Basically, on the way, we can set the boat up, set the tackle up. Obviously, see a bit more. Definitely helps the fingers and hook situation. But yeah. Um, I think as far as we decided yesterday, we're going south. Good plan, good weather. What do we need to rig up first, Joe? Then, what do you reckon we need to rig up? Uh, spoon. I would put on two speed pros at least. Is he going to be looking for bait at all? Yeah, you'll see the bodies. Okay. Same as they come up in thousands. No, but I mean, and for mozzies and that, do you think you'll be looking for any of that? Um, is there, uh, we've got a Yuzuri stick on here, I think. Yeah, there's one there. Yeah, so we, okay, we've sorted for that then. I didn't even, did anyone bring those sardines? The bait fruit? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's a turkey bet! <laughs> hey, made one bugger up here, I forgot the bait. Just shot back to get uh, a couple of uh, get a couple of mackerel. Yeah, where this look looks good, but you know, without bait, you're not going to really do much. Um, we can look pretty, but we're definitely not going to catch anything. Excellent starts. Okay, that usually I uh, tell you what boat for a good day. So when everything goes wrong, it makes it worth it. Caught a lot of different species on this, especially selfish actually. Uh, the nomad um, sort of pink mackerel and I'm going to show you how to tie my knot in the lures basically it's a uni knot so you start off with your loop and then you want the tag end to fit around the main line and then you basically just loop it four times You don't want to leave yourself too much tag in because you just cut it off. And you see, when you pull it, it makes a loop. Now, what I prefer to do is bring it down slightly so it keeps that loop. 
and then pull it tight. And then what happens is it doesn't move, so it gives you a lure play, so you can see. But the beauty about it is once you are on with the fish, it actually pulls down and tightens. You can see there, but it's got enough tension to hold it like that for now. So that's basically how I do it. And then obviously, uh, when a fish takes it, it pulls tight and it's solid. Just gives you that little bit of more play. Hey, look at that, bro. That's a bit. Yeah, you pushed the panic button. The alarm company phoned me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, well, because uh, yeah, I didn't know how to arm that thing. <laughs> I told them. I told now Kirk, Kirk made yeah. a big, big f up. Yeah. And I told him, old Captain Kirk's on, on fire. He even said, uh, please give that oak a fine. I said, don't worry, he's going to bleed tonight. <laughs> Check out these eyes, they all had bait. These ones all had bait. <laughs> what a club. <laughs> we arrived now because they had bait. <laughs> Who's that? Well, everyone else. Had bait. Oh, yeah. I don't know why you're blaming this on me, bro. Because you also bought bait. I know, but I, but I, you, I, I, I understand remember, you, can't, you can't do everything because you made chow this morning. Uh, I remember someone took you about saying, an hour to I switch to the I will concentrate on bait. <laughs> I, will, I will take the responsibility. I was focusing on bringing it here, Kazi, not bringing it to the boat. What I got, got, got a chow. Bro? What would you do if we were at Deep Cut and I said I forgot the chow? Kazi, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll get very emotional. <laughs> Oh, around the to the log break. Yeah. Oh, shit. jeez, bro. I thought that chair. I just saw that tractor coming at us. Oh my word! It broke the flipping log, bro. I'm going to go with a pen 65 30 pound braid, two ounce head with a pearl drop shot 5 inch, um, very thin leader as you can see, 20 pound. So I'm going to try that uh, and obviously I've got my koki set, I'm going to change the colours as I go along and yeah, I'll try from there. Okay, what's the... Basically I'm fishing with a... Uh, Trevella 7 foot, this is a very very light rod, very very light tip for drop shot. Okay, I'll show you the action once I get it in the water, uh, but it gives you a hell of an action. Yeah, um, yeah, you want it very slow, you want it to bounce, you want it to be lifelike. So, yeah, let's go go a bit shallow and let's see what we can find. Guys, what is it? You, you fish, you, you like to uh, pimp your drop shots up a lot with the cokies and that. What is the, what do you find is like the best, your like favorite colors to fish? I must or, say, you fish a variation. Different areas, different colors. You know, recently I worked out in Mozambique that that exact setup, but you had to paint the re the head red. Okay. Bright, bright red with the actual The actual drop shot, the lead head. The lead head. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I've sprayed it red with spray paint. Yeah. And every down I went down, it came back in half. So what I do is I always use white, white bucktail, white drop shot and then I've got a eight color koki set and I just color them in as I go along. We're working the spot with some drop shots here and uh, Ellie's got like a like a, um, a white one, I've got a little pearl, pearl blue one on. You know, you've got to feel it. You've got to feel the bounce, you know. Watch the tip there, the tip does everything. 
all that you need to do is every now and again give it a reel and then you know yeah. give it a few quicker ones uh, obviously when you get to the surface the pelagics up there like it a bit quicker Definitely the winner today. Generally a good idea just to, especially if you've got two anglers on the boat or three anglers on the boat doing this sort of fishing, is uh, you want to put a variation of lures down. So I might even swap to, to like a bucktail now to, uh, to see if they may be preferring that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, on. Huh? Yeah. Was Ken professional operation yet, Eddie? <laughs> oh, oh no, man! Oh. It just started moving, man. I think that's Brian. Byron's fault. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Byron's fault, bro. Of a tough day here in Sedwana, a lot of boats are out all searching for the tuna and wahoo. Tide's a bit wrong, so our skipper Reno says let's go a bit shallower. So basically, I've rigged it here with the chin weight. Uh, hook number four, five wire, and then we're going to put a mackerel far, far behind the boat. I've gone to my light setup 30 pound, 30 pound leader, uh, double X uh, shock leader. Uh, as well as a 30 pound braid. Basically a normal frozen green mackerel. Okay. You want to get it so it's obviously through the center of the head. Okay. Uh, that way you know that it's swim straight. At least before you put it in in the water and let it go. Just make sure that you do check it. Basically the hook at the back, we just want to dig it in. I like leaving a bit of Slack, should I say, uh, just in case uh, it falls out, this one is a bit better. That's the surface one. That's the surface one. There you go. And that's one. Good job, cousin Lee. There you go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, it was lovely to hear that sound again. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, we got one to stick. It's been a tough day, but good old Japan. Uh, it's close. It's close got basically another run in it if it's a kuta like we think it is basically one of the target species which is great uh, but you just want to ease it at the end there we go well Basically, I suppose it's not the one we wanted, but sufficient nonetheless. It's a plus, plus one. Yeah, there it is. Send him back. Yeah, so the pink one went off again. Number four treble. Small lead hook. Number four wire. Pink. Good job. How's that? What did you huh? So, a pink flasher. Put it in the water. Just rigged it with a teardrop. I don't have a, another chin weight. I thought it would be live bait, but yeah. It looks like a particle, bro. That thing smashes. Come on, come on, come on. Come up on the top there. 
That's a good push. Cousin Larry! Cousin Larry! That thing going and going, daddy ho! Jeez, I get a one to boot ya! I wonder! Yeah, first time I've, I've been allowed to get to the rod, eh? <laughs> with a few uh, mishaps this morning with the boat. Managed to get those sorted out. We got out here a little bit late. Um, and we finally got into a, a decent fissure. We've gone deep to shallow and we've come back in shallow again. And uh, yeah, we've, we've just come over the same spot here in about nine, 10 meters of water, eh, Rayna? Yeah. And um, we've gone over the same spot. We had two pulls, lost those unfortunately. Um, and now hopefully we're going to land this one over the exact same spot so yeah hoping it's a cuda definitely took off like a cuda it must have taken about 150 uh, meters of, of line and um yeah hopefully we'll see what see what it is no. there he is bit of a plate there oh yeah it looks like a cuda eh? got him eh? what's he trying over yeah. yeah. Think, eh? Yeah, well, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wee! yeah buddy. Wee! Look good. Very nice shot, brother. Thanks, bro. Oh, beaut, man. Here he is. That's what we came to look for today. And uh, yeah, we finally, finally managed to get him. Wait, it's still a bit lovely. And the soak's going in the hatch. Yes, Daddy, yes! <laughs> yes. Took long enough, cuz you took long enough. Perseverance, bugger, perseverance. Yo, so we came out today, we, we're a day earlier than, uh, than the other guys. Uh, they're arriving tonight, it's Friday. And we just thought we'd come out and <clears throat> just recce the area. I'll yeah. see what's trying. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we puzzled for a bit. Unfortunately, the boat gave us a bit of issues in the morning. One of the motors wasn't running 100%, so we we messed around with that for a bit and that delayed us a bit getting onto the actual spot. But once we were there, um, yeah, we, we trawled around a bit. We, we were off deep cut, eh? Yeah. Right, eh? We were off deep cut and then we came on the inside um, into the shallow yeah. shallow areas. Um, and Ali, you got a uh, bonito, quite a nice big Yeah, bonito, I got eh? a lovely bonny. You know, nice to see them shallow. You know, I thought it was a cooter, but a bit of a foul hook. You know, I went back, tried again. Uh, the shallow was the call today, hey, as yeah. far as I could see the other boats. Yeah. Good call, Skipper Reyna. Um, and then got a prodigal, but that one, sadly, Kirk saw it come up. That one was a long line release. Um, and then, luckily enough, went back to the spot and sort of Kirk took the day. You know, with his lovely cooter. So, definitely shallow was the right call today, you know. Yeah, and uh, we just fished general sort of ma mackerel and sardine dead baits. Uh, uh, Ali got his first fish on a on a Jap mac, um, which was lacquer. And uh, yeah, there's definitely some fish around. The, uh, the other boats got some nice fish early in the, earlier earlier on. Uh, we just maybe got out a little bit late, but hey, lacquer down the ocean. Um, nice to experience Sardana for the first time. Uh, the whole area is just it's, it's magic, eh? And really well worth the visit. Uh, the locals are lacquer, the beach is, is really, really cool, lovely for the family. And the fishing, even when you get out late, like we did, still managed to get one or two results. So, yeah, tomorrow's a big day and Sunday, so hopefully we'll get in some action then. Uh, these traps will be on the boat, so I'm looking forward to getting onto my wet deck uh, and seeing what it can do in Sudwana. My wet deck. Yeah. One way. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
thought no one was coming to play with Kev. <laughs> I was hearing noises. <laughs> Oh, you oh, jeez, bro. Triple up. Triple up. Chaos going on, yeah. <laughs>